Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss CSS cascade versus CSS inheritance. We understand what is the difference between CSS cascade and CSS inheritance. CSS cascade deals with precedence of style rules or precedence of CSS properties. That is the order in which properties are applied to HTML element. It solves conflict situations. Let me ask a question. What happens when we define set of style rules for a specific tag in external, internal as well as inline styles? The answer to this question is rules get cascade. When we define set of style rules for a specific tag in external, internal as well as inline style then browser creates a virtual declaration list by merging all style rules together by following rules of cascade. So remember that browser creates a virtual declaration list by merging all style rules that we have declared in external, internal, inline as well as default CSS by following rules of cascade then applies the merge virtual declaration list to a specific tag in our HTML document. Then what are those rules of cascade? The rules of cascade include later properties override earlier properties. That means nearest properties to a tag are going to win. More specific selectors override less specific selectors. That means less generic selectors override more generic selectors. I am going to discuss about each of these points step by step in detail. So first of all, I am going to create one HTML document. I go to start, type here notepad. I click on notepad. In notepad, I am going to write basic HTML5 document structure, less than exclamation mark, doc type, HTML, close, opening HTML tag, lang equal to en, closing HTML tag, opening head tag and closing head tag, opening body tag and closing body tag. In the head section, I am going to write meta char set equal to UTF-8. Then I save the file, file, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotation. Click on save, minimize. You can see default.html page got created. I right click on it. Open with the Firefox. You can see that default.html page got open. Let me set the title. I use title tag. In the between the head tag, I am going to write opening title and then I say cascade versus inheritance closing title. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the title is set to cascade versus inheritance. In the body tag, I am going to create some paragraphs and there I say hello CSS exclamation mark or just hello CSS closing paragraph and I copy this, paste it few times. You can see I have pasted five times paragraph, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see hello CSS displayed five times one below another. Now we understand how actually this is working. As I told that, Browser is going to create a virtual declaration list for every HTML element. For every HTML element, browser maintains one virtual declaration list. Always remember that. So here I am going to use HTML command less than exclamation mark dash 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 exclamation mark. Here I am going to say virtual declaration list goes here. I copy that virtual declaration list comment and paste it below every paragraph here, here. So we have virtual declaration list comment and paragraph. As I told, for every HTML element, browser maintains a virtual declaration list. Then what is a virtual declaration list? Virtual declaration list is a merged or combined list of declaration from default CSS external CSS, embedded CSS and inline CSS. Virtual declaration list is a list of declarations friends that is actually combined from 
डिफॉल्ट सी एस एस एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस एम्बेडेड सी एस एस एंड इन लाइन सी एस एस फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी दैट पैराग्राफ्स आर गेटिंग डिस्प्लाइड वन बिलो अनदर वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट वी नो दैट एवरी पैराग्राफ हैज डिफॉल्ट सी एस एस सेट बिहाइंड द सीन दैट इज एवरी पैराग्राफ इज डिस्प्लेड इन ब्लॉक लेवल दैट मीन्स ऑन एवरी पैराग्राफ default css is getting affected so default css declaration rules are getting applied on every paragraph so i am going to copy that and paste for this paragraph also 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 that is what happening at present the browser is maintaining a virtual declaration list that is containing at present only default css for every paragraph that is the reason why the paragraphs are getting displayed one below another let's proceed further now what i do is i am going to create one external css so i go to start type here notepad i click on notepad this in this notepad i am going to tell to the system that locate every paragraph in linked page and apply background dash color to yellow semicolon file save as I save the file at desktop with the name main dot css and I click on save button. You can see that main dot css got created at the desktop. If I go to browser and say refresh, you can see no paragraph is having the background color yellow because we have not linked the external css to our default dot html page. To do that, I am going to write here link href equal to main dot css then i am going to say type equal to text or css then i am going to write rel equal to style sheet double quotation close now we have linked our html document and the css document file save now what happens means browser is going to update the virtual declaration list for every html element now this is going to have B A C K G R Y U N D background color yellow semicolon that is coming from main dot css as i told that virtual declaration list is merge declaration list friend all declarations are going to be taken from default as well as external now so i am going to copy that paste here paste here paste here paste here now you are going to see every paragraph is going to have default css as well as background color set to yellow file save go to browser and refresh you can see all paragraphs are having now default css applied as well as background color set to yellow the default css is display of the paragraph is block and there is a margin above and margin below the paragraph Hope you guys have understood how browser updates its its virtual declaration list for every HTML element for body for head all these elements also there is a virtual declaration list maintained guys here only for the paragraphs I am demonstrating okay now I proceed further here I am going to add a embedded style to add a embedded style we use style tag so I am writing opening style tag and closing style tag we know that style tag is a pair tag it has a attribute called as type there i am going to write text or css that indicates whatever we write within the style tag is going to be text or css code here i am going to override the paragraph properties so here i am going to say color should be red that means i am telling that the content in every paragraph in this page should be of color red then what happens again for every paragraph the virtual declaration list is going to be updated now and here color colon red is added so here i am going to say color red semicolon same thing happens i copy paste 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 now the virtual declaration list is updated for every paragraph if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see all paragraphs are having background color yellow and foreground color is red as i told declaration list that is virtual declaration list is combination of default css external css embedded css as well as inline css let's see if i say here 
inline style I am going to use now. So I am using style attribute and say here font dash size of maybe 18 point semicolon. Now what happens for this paragraph, the virtual declaration list is going to be updated. Here it adds font size of 18 point. Only for this paragraph, we are going to have these styles, background color yellow, color red, font size 18 point. Whereas all these paragraphs are going to have background color yellow and color set to red. File, save, good browser and refresh. You can see this paragraph content is now having 18 point, background color yellow, foreground color red. Let's proceed further and update here. For example, for this also if I say style of, for example, I say here border of 1 pixel solid black semicolon double quotation. Now what happens here for this paragraph as we have inline style, it is going to be updated. The virtual declaration list is going to be updated by the browser. So border is going to be one pixel solid B L A C K black semicolon. That is how the virtual declaration list is going to be updated by the browser. You can see the last paragraph has the border applied. Hope you guys have understood what is virtual declaration list which is maintained behind the scene by the browser for every HTML element and this is how it is updated friends. Now we proceed further. We have understood what is virtual declaration list, how it is merged and how it is applied. Now we understand as I told that virtual declaration list is updated by following rules of cascade. First rule is later properties override earlier properties that is nearest properties are going to win nearest properties are going to override farthest properties let's understand that now what i do is i go to the embedded style here i am going to say background dash color to cyan semicolon now of course for each of these paragraphs virtual declaration should be updated the reason is in the main.css, we have told background color yellow. That is good. That is what the browser has updated. But now we have told in the embedded style background color should be sign. For all of these paragraphs, for all paragraphs, the nearest style is embedded style, not the external style. Hence, here the background color is going to be updated. I am going to copy that background color is going to be updated in each virtual declaration list. So paste, 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 paste. File, save. You will see that the background color is going to be changed to sign. So hope you guys have understood. Nearest rule wins. For example, for this paragraph, if I set the B A C K G R O U N D background dash color to maybe green, if I say, then the nearest style rule for this paragraph, the background color is inline style rule, right? Then this is going to be updated to green. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see only this paragraph has the background color green set to. Hope you guys are understanding. I am going to reset it back to cyan and I am going to remove this rule from here. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We are back to sign color. Next CSS rule we have is a uh, cascading rule we have is more specific selectors are going to override less specific selectors. That is less generic selector overrides more generic selector rules. That means here the paragraph is more generic selector. That means generic means every paragraph element is going to be applied by these rules right now i am going to write a specific selector for example if i say here id is equal to p4 this is a paragraph 4 i have given an id to it now i am going to write here an embedded style select a paragraph with an id of p4 you can see this selector is more specific this is generic this is specific here we have i am telling apply these style rules to a paragraph which is having an id p4 so this is more specific if i say here b a c k g r o u n d background dash color to green semicolon now 
as i told less generic overrides more generic so here this is less generic it overrides more generic background color so what happens here this paragraph is going to have a background color set to green let's see now file save go to browser and refresh you can see the fourth paragraph is having the background color set to green that is the cascade rule even though you cut this from here and paste it above file save go to browser and refresh still it is green color only you can see that the reason behind that is the second rule is given highest precedence first rule is given lowest precedence that is the reason whether you put above or below this is going to win friend i hope you guys have understood this is how the browser maintains a virtual declaration list and updates the information based on the rules of cascade now we understood what is the meaning of cascade i proceed further and explain what is inheritance css inheritance deals with how styles are pulled down from parent element to its child elements certain properties like font family gets inherited if you set font family on the body element then it will get inherited by all elements within the body tag that means if i set a default font face to a body tag then every html elements default font face is going to become that font if i set a text color in the body tag we know that every element text color changes to that color that is the default text color right so text color and font family is going to be inherited whereas some properties will not get inherit to the child elements like background color height property these properties are not going to be inherited down hope you guys have understood what is css inheritance so remember that css inheritance deals with styles which are put down from parent element to its child element whereas css cascade deals with precedence of style rules every browser maintains a virtual declaration list behind the scene by following the rules of cascade they are nearest property wins and less generic property wins and highest precedence will be given to the second cascade rule than the first cascade rule i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand clearly if you have any doubt please do not hesitate to post comment for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial